Now that I've finished assembling the gantry, I will build the z-axis and install it onto the x-axis. Start by stacking the z-axis motor mount and z-axis spacer and installing it onto the z-axis plate. Assemble the bearing block and place it over the fasteners. Assemble the other bearing block and include a finisher plate. In this assembly video, I'll fully mock up the Z-axis assembly to get the length of the Z-axis lead screw. I will then partially disassemble in order to mount it to the Z-axis carriage. Place the Z-axis rails on the plate and install the flat head fasteners. These are countersunk to avoid any conflict with the Z-axis lead nut. Next, stack the Z-axis support and the bracket for the cable carrier. Align the support bracket with the edge of the bearing and add the nuts. I will also add the lower bearing block. Just to show the entire assembly, I will also add the thrust bearings and shaft collars. The lead screw should interface with the lower bearing, but not bottom out on the finisher plate. Next, we'll add the thrust bearings and coupler. Mark the length of the lead screw. This should be a little less than flush to avoid conflict. Now I'll partially disassemble and cut the lead screw to the correct size.
Be sure to clean up any burrs on the lead screw and thread lead ends. Add the thrust washer and tighten the coupler to the end of the lead screw. Add the thrust washers and shaft collar. Pull out any backlash and tighten. Make sure the motor mount is aligned and tighten it. This is as far as we'll go before mounting it onto the gantry. Once again I am starting the threads in the backlash side of the nut so I'll be careful to make sure everything is started correctly. Spin the lead screw and feed the Z-axis onto the carriage. Be sure to align the V-groove wheels onto the rails. Next I'll add the lower shaft collar, thrust bearings, and bearing block. Using the threaded holes in the plate, attach the bearing block assembly. Put some downward force on the shaft collar while tightening it to the lead screw. Now we can tighten all the nuts on the Z-axis lead nut. I will now add the Z-axis coupler and stepper. Nest the coupler and attach the motor to the motor mount. Note that all of the holes in the Z-axis motor mount allow for flexibility in alignment. Here is the table mechanically complete. In the next video, I will wire up the power switch, fans, and controller.